Okay, one of our early colony areas is going to be uh, in the New England area. Of course, we know the first one was in 1607 in Jamestown, the Virginia colonies. But up here, this is where we're dealing with the Pilgrims and the Puritans. And here we find a family-oriented uh, life. Uh, church was one of the key social points, learning to read the Bible, learning to recite scripture, learning uh, all of the outside areas. That was how they were taught to read, uh, was through the Bible. Usually they were taught at home, unless they were very bright uh, boys or girls, then the boys often would be educated through the 12th grade, but the girls often uh, were forced to stop at age, with the sixth grade. Uh, girls' place was in the home, uh, cooking, and uh, not, uh, not, not being allowed to be overeducated. But the boys also were expected to learn Latin and uh, some geography, whereas the girls were just supposed to stay and learn to cook, uh, learn to read the Bible, learn to be a mother. Uh, but we're dealing here with the early, early uh, tough life on the frontier. The Native Americans would continually attack this particular area. There was a slaughter at Deerfield, Massachusetts, where they wiped out entire uh, communities. So there was a lot of animosity between the Native Americans and the Puritans and the Pilgrims. But the families were the core unit the families did uh, for each other. They were very dependent on each other. Even extended families were dependent on each other. A lot of uh, the family worked from the sea because, of course, uh, the, the great fishing assets with their coastline. A lot of people then, uh, a little bit inland, dealt primarily with, uh, there was some coal there, but they, they dealt primarily uh, with agriculture, uh, growing truck gardens for the family use, and the girls, of course, were working in the fields, and the boys oftentimes were as well, but they were expected to have large families to share the work. 